it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing, the one place where we try to help you help other people by taking your great innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that with sound wisdom to turn them into real things like products and businesses. Now, I want to ask a question. Do you know what the difference is between raising money and making money? Because unfortunately out there, a lot of very, very smart, very, very talented people sometimes get those two things completely mixed up. Now I want to talk, talk to you about a great scene, a real life scene from a book uh, that was telling a real life story. And this book's called Reinventing the Wheel. Uh, I've also seen it under the name, I think it's had two names because uh, it's been around a while now. Uh, the other one's called Codename Ginger. And it's actually a, a book that kind of followed the development and launch of the uh, Segway. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you a little more background on them in a minute. But, but let me focus first on, on this startup. Because this startup uh, has just raised a tremendous amount of money. And the whole team was just celebrating Big time. They were just, uh, they were popping the champagne corks. They were just uh, partying. They were just, they were, ha they were just so happy that they had raised this, this very large amount of money. And the CEO stopped them in the middle of their celebration and said, "Guys, wait a minute." Uh, he stopped them with a very, very sober message. He said, "This is money." that people have invested in us. It's, and I'm paraphrasing here, I don't remember the exact quote, but he said, this is money that people are investing in us and its purpose is not that we have money, but it's to give us the ability to make money. And that is a very, very important um, uh, message, especially for inventors and entrepreneurs out there that uh, startups and small businesses that are doing a money raise. Uh, borrowed money and uh, invested money, money that you're not getting from sales and revenue is very different, fundamentally different than the money you get um, uh, the other way. So, uh, so again, this is the story of the second way and it was kind of this big revolution. And if you're around in um, around 2001, 2000, 2000s, early 2000s, uh, the Segway was predicted to, in two, by the end of 2002, to be selling 10,000 units a week. They were going to revolutionize personal transportation. Uh, and it was going to be bigger than the internet. A very big uh, guy out there in the business world had come out publicly and said, this is going to be bigger than the internet. Uh, so they were just touting this as, as really, really big. It would reach $1 billion faster than any company in history. This was their prediction. This is what everybody thought back in 2002. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, that revolution did not now. Did the company fail? No. Actually, they're still around. You can look them up today. Uh, but the uh, next six years following those statements and all that celebration and all that excitement and all that money they invested, they only sold 30,000 units over the next six years. So it did not get anywhere close. Now, it survived. I think 2015 it got bought up by another company. And, uh, uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm surprised. It, I mean, it still goes on uh, as a company. But it wasn't going to be what they thought it was. And they spent over $100 million in research and development. And, uh, you know, I've just, I've seen this happen with so many companies, with so many startups where they just, that, that money, that too much money in the beginning gets in the way. And I know you've heard me talk about this in a lot of the other videos, uh, but, uh, but it's very true. Uh, and, and they spent all this money. And what happened ended up the ensuing next six years from, I guess, 2002 to what, 2008, as a personal transporter, the, the thing they were touting that it was going to be, it was nearly a complete failure in that market segment. Uh, and, uh, you know, let me preface the next thing that I want to tell you about with this, and that's that I like bootstrapping. I'm a big fan of bootstrapping. I bootstrapped my own company. 
I, I, I prefer it. I recommend it. If you can pull it off, if you pick the right product, the right business model, the right startup, where you can you can pull that off, I think bootstrapping is the way to go because it forces you, number one, to make your early mistakes without a lot of money, and it also keeps you out of the uh, uh, keeps a lot of you as ownership of the most or all of the company early on, or maybe even all the way through. So uh, I, I think those are, are very very good things to have. But some of you feel the need to raise money or you need to raise money, and I get that, that's fine. So I want you to keep these things in mind if you're going that route. The money that you raise has a sole purpose, and that sole purpose is ROI, return on investment. These people that are investing money in you, they're wanting their money back plus more money because you're going to be so successful, just like they did with the Segway. Uh, it also, this money is not to be viewed as income. It's not to be viewed as revenue. A lot of people get those things mixed up so easily. They think, oh, we've got all this money now. Yay, let's start spending it. And it, it has one purpose, one very, very laser-focused purpose, and that is to give you the ability to make, to, to make money uh, by, by selling pro making product, and developing, making, and selling product. And if used wisely, you can do that. If it's, it's not the same as making money. Making money, because that needs to be the focus. What are we going to make? What are we going to sell? What's it going to cost? What's our overhead? What are we going to sell it for? And how many do we need to sell to get to X? That's what you use the investment money for in the beginning. So don't fall into this mindset of raising money, of treating raised money as revenue. It can really, really hurt you. Uh, and if you keep your mind on how am I going to sell this, how am I going to make this, that will that is what is ultimately going to make you successful. You're going to make the people that have invested their money in you very, very happy. So anyway, I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing TV. I hope this was helpful. If it was for you, please like, subscribe, share this with somebody else you think that this might be helpful for. And I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of our online classes, or on the next video.